they tell me my name is Ezra Miller. And they tell me that this is called Fishing for Answers with The Hollywood Reporter and Ezra Miller together. Ezra Miller has finally broken their silence as they announced in their first statement since legal issues began that they have begun treatment for complex mental health issues. Following months of erratic behavior and arrests, Miller has opened up about their situation. In a statement provided to Variety by a representative of the actor, Miller broke their silence about their troubling behavior and also apologized for their actions. Having recently gone through a time of intense crisis, I now understand that I am suffering complex mental health issues and have begun ongoing treatment. Miller said, I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior. I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe and productive stage in my life. Non-binary actor Ezra Miller is known for their roles as Patrick in The Perks of Being a Wallflower and Credence Barebone, Aurelius Dumbledore in the Harry Potter spin-off franchise Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. He stars as the Flash in DC Comics superhero universe and has portrayed a role in several DC movies including Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, Suicide Squad and Justice League. He was recently cast as the lead in the character's first ever standalone film. This role, however, has been overshadowed by allegations about their off-screen behavior, which has managed to garner a lot of attention. The actor made headlines in 2020 after a recording surfaced in which they seemed to be choking a woman outside a bar in Iceland. There was initial confusion as to whether the video was real, but it turned out to be authentic. A source at the establishment, Prikio Kafias, has confirmed to Variety that this was a serious altercation at the bar, and that that the individual, whom they identify as Miller, was escorted off the premises. Variety reported the video shows Miller grabbing the victim by her neck and tackling her to the ground. The incident apparently took place on April 1, 2020, at Prikio Kafias, a bar in Reykjavik, Iceland. However, no charges were filed. Miller was also arrested twice earlier this year in Hawaii. In the first incident, Miller was arrested for disorderly conduct and harassment. The Hawaii Police Department said that the actor caused a scene at a bar after they disapproved of two people singing karaoke. They allegedly started yelling obscenities at the pair and even attempted to grab the microphone from one while lunging at another man. The police arrived at the scene soon after and took them into custody. Miller pled no contest to a single count of misdemeanor disorderly conduct and paid a fine of $500. Just two days later, another couple in Hawaii filed a restraining order against against Miller. The couple claimed that they allowed Miller to stay at their house for a couple of days, but after bailing them out of jail after their arrest, Miller lost it. The couple said that Miller ran into their room and threatened them. The actor also stole things from their house, including a passport, a wallet which contained ID documents and a social security card. They later dropped their case. Two weeks later, Miller was taken into custody for second-degree assault after getting into a fight at home late at night. Miller was arrested at around 1 a.m. at a residence in Pahoa after there were reports of an assault that occurred at a get-together at a private residence. Miller on being asked to leave, apparently became violent and threw a chair striking a 26-year-old woman on the forehead. In June, Miller was given a temporary protective order by a 12-year-old's family in Massachusetts. The child's mother said that she became worried after Miller started buying her daughter gifts. Another set of parents also got a protective order against Miller after the star allegedly physically and emotionally abused their daughter. Sarah Jumping Eagle and Shay Iron Eyes alleged that their 18-year-old daughter, Tokata, was verbally and physically abused by Miller after being groomed by him for
for six years. They first met Tokata in 2016 when she was just 12. They apparently kept tabs on her, later flying the then 14-year-old to the London premiere of their movie Fantastic Beasts and where to find them as well as encouraging her musical aspirations. There were reports stating that the actor had attempted to sleep in the same bed as Tokata when she was 14. A report also alleged that someone saw Miller having sex with Tokata. However, Tokata denied both the claims, calling the latter so very false. Tokata said that her parents' allegations against Miller were a disgusting and irresponsible smear campaign against Miller and that the actor in multiple cases has done the right thing and stood in protection of others. I'd like to say that it's nobody's business and that no one is owed a story or an outcome. This is my life. These are my decisions, and I'm disappointed in my parents and the press in every way. Just days after this incident, Miller allegedly met a mother and her then 11-year-old child, who also identifies as non-binary just like Miller through mutual friends. The mother said that Miller showed inappropriate interest in her child. The mother of the 12-year-old said Miller still holds a position of power that's dangerous for young people to be around. They see them as someone who is successful, who is queer, who is in the community, she said. My child is thinking that the person's a superhero. They're really enamored. Most recently, Miller was charged with felony burglary in Vermont last week. Police investigated an incident in which several bottles of alcohol were taken from a home in Stanford when the residents weren't home. According to initial reports, several bottles of alcohol were taken from within the residence while the homeowners were not present, Miller was identified as a suspect after an investigation and was officially charged after officers located them. The actor has been issued a citation to appear in Vermont's Superior Court for a hearing on September 26. It was unclear whether Miller knows the residents of the burglarized home. The actor calls Stamford their main place of residence. Police are also on the lookout for a woman and their three children, who reportedly were staying with Miller at their Vermont residence under allegedly dangerous conditions. The father says that he is concerned about his young children, who are staying with their mom on the actor's farm, while the 25-year-old woman who was living there told Rolling Stone that Miller helped her get away from an abusive ex and also expressed her gratitude to them. She also said that the farm has been a healing haven for the family. However, according to Miller, the family left two months ago and hasn't been back since. The actor had also been the source of 10 police calls in Hilo, Hawaii which included minor incidents like filming people at gas stations, refusing to leave the sidewalk area of a restaurant, and arguing with people in public. These allegations are a major concern for Warner Brothers Discovery, the studio behind two of huge franchises that Miller is a part of, DC Comics films as well as the Harry Potter spin-off series Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. These allegations led the studio to wonder about how to proceed with the release of The Flash, set to release next year. Following the arrest of Miller in the karaoke bar, the Warner Brothers and DC executives held a meeting to discuss the future involvement of the actor in movie projects. Rolling Stones claims that the consensus was to hit pause on any future projects involving Miller, including any possible appearances in the DC Extended Universe. A recent report said that the studio was considering three options, releasing the movie as planned, but only after Miller seeks help, releasing the movie while keeping Miller away from the marketing, or scrapping the movie altogether. For now, they seem to have gone with the first option, as a source close to the studio said that Warner Bros. 
Brothers was supporting Miller's decision to seek professional help. Fans had speculated that Miller might be replaced in The Flash, but Warner Brothers' discovery stood by the actor. CEO David Zaslav said during an earnings call, We have seen The Flash, Black Adam, and Shazam 2. We are very excited about them. We've seen them. As of now, The Flash is set to be released on June 23, 2023. It features appearances by two fan favorite Batmans, Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton. The public criticized the studio as they axed the almost completed Batgirl film but not The Flash. On August 2nd, Warner Brothers announced that the 90 million film would no longer be released despite being fully shot and in post-production. Ezra Miller's public apology might just be the starting point of their career, taking a turn for the better after so many controversies. Their fans are also hopeful now that the actor is getting the help they need. A public apology was a huge first step in the right direction. Don't you feel that recognizing mental health problems and seeking help is the right way to go? If you agree, if you could check out this other video by us where we discuss Sean Mendes postponing his world tour for his mental health. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it. Tell us your opinions about the Ezra Miller controversy. Also, subscribe to our channel for more content from the world of Hollywood.